Hey there, story lovers. Welcome back to the enchanting world of Harrisonburg, where the winter solstice festival is just around the corner. The town is alive with a peculiar energy, a mix of excitement and trepidation that hangs in the air like the scent of pine mingling with the crisp winter chill. Flickering lanterns line the streets, casting playful shadows that dance with the anticipation of the festival. But beneath this festive facade lies a deeper mystery, one that our heroes, Clara Thompson and Eli Rodriguez, are about to unravel. So, buckle up as we dive into chapter two of this captivating tale. As the winter solstice festival approached, Clara Thompson felt the weight of the artifact's discovery pressing down on her. Her curly chestnut hair bounced with each step as she walked through the bustling town of Harrisonburg. The flickering lanterns lining the streets cast playful shadows, but Clara's heart was heavy with the stories she had begun to uncover. Each tale shared by Mabel Carter, the town's wise old woman, seemed to echo with the whispers of the past, urging Clara to listen more closely. Mabel's stories were not just tales. They were warnings, revealing deep-seated fears and regrets of the townsfolk. Clara's empathy deepened with every word, and she began to understand the burdens her neighbors carried. Beside Clara walked Eli Rodriguez, her steadfast companion. His warm brown eyes scanned the bustling square, taking in the festive attire of the townsfolk. Eli wore a graphic tee beneath a thick jacket, a stark contrast to the colorful garments around him. Do you really think the artifact is causing all this? Eli asked, skepticism lacing his voice. Clara paused, her bright green eyes reflecting the twinkling lights above. I think it's more than just an object, Eli. It's a mirror, showing us what we need to confront. The artifact was not just a relic. It was a catalyst, a force that compelled the town to face its hidden truths. As they approached Mabel's cottage, Nestled at the edge of the enchanted forest, Clara felt a shiver run down her spine. Inside, the air was thick with the aroma of spice cider. Mabel, with her silver hair and twinkling blue eyes, welcomed them with a knowing smile. The festival is not just a celebration, my dear Clara. It is a reckoning. The artifact will reveal truths that many are not ready to face. Clara's heart raced as she considered the implications. She thought of her father, Henry Thompson, whose own shadows loomed large in her life. The unspoken words between them felt like a chasm, one that Clara was determined to bridge.